Hmm. What's this? Old manifest. Lots of treasure. Thief. Nothing. Nah. Lots of empty shelves here. Hmm. Fancy clothes. Some kind of uniform. Uh, you were a guard here, weren't you? Nice job. Good question. What if maybe there's no treasure left? You know, they spend it all on marble floors. So the colonists find out their money's gone and they get pissed. Yeah, maybe so. Huh, another one. Man, is this what was on the shelves? Nathan, over here. Hey, Nathan, check it out. What do you got? The battalion money. It says Avery Sigil on it. Mm -hmm. Must have melted down the gold, minted his own currency. So based on that, all the manifests on the shelves, the treasure was here. Is the bigger question. Where is it now? Okay, so we know that there was fighting outside. Yeah, Dan, inside. What do you think the colonists stole it? No. I think they were trying to reclaim what was theirs. Look, here's Avery. Two. Founders of Libertalia. All marked with the word thief. Not murderer, not tyrant. Thief. So by the time the colonists busted in here, the treasure was already gone. Yeah, because these guys had already taken it for themselves. Pirates will be pirates, right? Uh, pirates will be pirates. Huh. I know where they moved it. What? Where? It's a map. Yeah, right there. That's our treasury. It's, it's a map of Libertalia. Right, so follow it to the other side of the island there, look. Right there. New Devon. But Avery was from Devon, England. He sure was. Man, those are some seriously large mansions. Each of them has its own sigil, too. Because that's where they lived. 
You say we uh, climb that watchtower, huh? Get our bearings. New Devon, here we come. Now, how do we get up there? Now, how do we get up there? I got an idea. You give me a hand with this? Okay. Okay, ready? Okay, that's step one. Step two. Raise the chandelier. Good idea. <laughs> Sounds surprised. Just take the compliment. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Now the place is looking classy. Let's get up there. Don't you see if you can swing to that other chain? <laughs> oh, nice one, Tarzan. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, Condon. Baldridge. What? You're stepping on Baldridge. Oh, so I am. Shock the stairs are intact. Hey, hey, hey. Don't jinx us. <laughs> Oops. Spoke too soon. Like I said. <laughs> Nathan! You seeing this tower? Sure am. You Sam? Yeah. All right, just making sure you haven't plummeted to your death. <laughs> just about there. <laughs> sure is excited. Hey, can you get me up there? You bet. Come on, ready? Ready. All right, I found something. Hey, stand back. Here you go.
Oh, quite the crow's nest, huh? There it is, just on the other side of the river. Now, what do you say we go? Rob from the rich, huh? Hey, is there a path down there? Uh, of sorts. Come on. So, how long do you figure it'll take us to get the new Devon? Well, a couple hours. Depends on what or who we bump into along the way. Let's try this again. Okay, Mango. Mango! What are you on about? Oh, it's my safe word. Mm. Are you always this clever? I have my moments. Yes. You and your brother have proven yourselves the more capable treasure hunters on the island. Shame we're not on the same side. Wait, there's still time. 
trust a drake. Hmm. I'm not falling for that again. Hey, hey, just, just let's talk about it. Okay, that was a bit rougher than expected. I'll just, uh, see myself out. After everything, you think I'm just going to let you walk away? That'd be the wise thing to do. Oh, come on, Nadine, really? We know you're a badass and all, but there's two of us. I don't think my men are on their way here right now. All I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. God damn it. Go! I'm tired of the silence. I'm tired of your brother. And I'm tired of you. I know you don't. Get shot! Fast, but you're not that fast. Hey, forget about her. Come on, we gotta get out of here before they. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa! Everybody, just, just calm down, okay? Well, this is interesting. Nate, Samuel, put your guns down, all of you. No. Rafe, this guy's on edge. Oh, don't worry about him, Nadine. These guys don't kill anyone in cold blood. It's just not their style. You wanted to bet her life on that? Go ahead, then. Shoot her. Sam. I die, you both die. So be it. Not another step! You mean... like this? Sam, put the gun down. I warned you. Do it! Rafe! Start! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Put it down. It's done. Okay? It's done. Don't worry, Nadine. It's not their style. I say, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> Samuel. You okay? I guess you knew this moment was coming, huh? Hey! <laughs> Come on, man. You already got us. Take it easy. Come on, now you're a businessman. Let's just, just work out a deal. Oh, a deal? Oh, yeah. Love to hear what you have in mind. Oh, you can go ahead. I'm listening. I just. I... You want to find Avery's treasure? We'll help you find it. And in exchange, I let you live? Yeah. That and a small cut. The gauchos on this guy. Just enough to get him his freedom, okay? His freedom? Nathan. Yeah. He did hard time. Our time. And the guy who broke him out, Hector Alcazar, he owes him a lot of money. Whoa. What the hell are you talking about, Nate? Hector Alcazar died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. I'm the one that got Samuel out. Oh. Wow. What did he tell you? Sam, what kind of story did you cook up? Alcazar? Really? You lied? 
You lied to your baby brother. We're wasting time. Just a second. Thing is, Nate, I never stopped looking for Avery's treasure. I just kept running into these dead ends. <laughs> and then I hear that our dear old Samuel Drake, an authority on Avery, is alive and somewhat well. There was no breakout. I bribed the prison warden, and your brother, he just waltzed right out the front gate. He spent the last two years tracking down a second St. Dismas Cross. You know what? He did it all with me. Uh, oh, yeah? No, that's bullshit. Oh. Sam, care to refute? Nate. Oh, Sam. Jesus, no, no. Listen, Avery's treasure was ours. It was always ours. I left my life for you. Hey, look, look, Nate, if it's any consolation, he duped me too. He pulled a Houdini on me, he brought you and that old man back into the mix, and I cannot lie, Sam, that really pissed me off. But, you know, all behind us now. You don't deserve it. You do? Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Rafe? What? One way or another, end it, or I will. Well, you heard the lady. Hey, you missed one clue, and you can kiss that treasure goodbye. You said it yourself, keep running into dead ends. Why don't you face it, Rafe? You need us. No, you're right. You're half right. I just need Sam. Wait, now you're making a mistake. Don't, you don't, don't listen! Ah! Oh my God, Nate. Lives here anyway. I don't know, no idea. But this is definitely the address. Been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. <sighs> and here we are. Whoa. This place is humongous. <laughs> Where do we even start? Yeah, well, we start by finding a way in. And then we can take the grand tour. You think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking a window. Okay, give me your hand. Whoa. Spooky. 
Loki. Yeah. Well, here, I brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers. You know? Hmm, nothing in here. It's not going to be in this attic. Boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. Down we go. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Was this your house? Hey, these boxes remind you of anything? Every place we ever lived. Exactly. I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just gonna move again in a month. Yep, always the asshole. Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push! 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 What the hell? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Sam, this is real. What is this place? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> huh, this one's Roman. Third, maybe fourth century. Recognize that one? Uh, I, I've seen something like it before. 
Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ugh, that's right. Yeah. Husband and wife. They're buried together. It's kind of dark. In like an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. This place is like a damn museum. <laughs> Think they've got a dinosaur wing? Wouldn't surprise me. Here's another one. <sighs> nope. I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer dryer combo. <laughs> Ah, I was the funny one. Always was. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Give to get an invite like this. I just read this one. Oh, yeah? Is it any good? It's kind of incredible. It's about the first Western woman to visit Lhasa. So where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay, well. Here we go. <laughs> India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. Round and round she goes. Soviet Union. Let's go to Moscow. Yeah, it might be a tad difficult to get in. I always wanted to see the Red Square, though. Hey, check it out. <laughs> Let's try again. England. Sure would be cool to see Windsor Castle. Right, Sam? Hey, hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault you weren't born yet. It's not like I remember much of it anyways. And it wasn't that cool. Uh-huh. <sighs> it's hot in there. Fertility totems. Hey, aren't you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Aren't you a little old to be making that joke? Eh, never too old. Wow. This table's as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. Yeah, I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn. They must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts. They certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. Hey, check out this crazy demon helmet. Is that a Viking helmet? Come on. You know Viking helmets don't have horns? It's Persian. Oh. My bad. Flintlock rifles. I wonder if they still work. Whoa. 
Hornets of Arabia. Always wanted to see that flick. Jousting armor. It looks French. Hey, maybe you don't go waving your flashlight around the windows too much? Going it alone. A dragon gong. Hmm. Huh. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Nice. Look at these. Compass, sundial. Hey, they've got your favorite book here. Really? Which one? A general history of the robberies and murders of the most notorious pirates. Yeah, more like a generally made up history. Even the author's name is a fake. Fake or not, this looks like a first edition. Are you serious? Man, this place, man. Wow. Want to take it with you? Nah. It'll just disintegrate in my backpack. Liven up the place. <laughs> Since when do you like classical music? Excuse me, I am a man of many tastes. Samurai. Eh? And you recognize the crest? Okay. Uh, Hollyhock leaves Mom's are, journals um, are anyway. Yeah. Let's see. Let's don't tell me. Don't tell me. Uh, Let's check Tokugawa upstairs. clan. Yeah, right. You are. Journals about everything in the world, but nothing from Mom. It's a big house. Don't give up yet. Oh, wow. They knew Amelia Earhart? No kidding. Man, they knew all the cool people. Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. Hmm, it's locked. Hey, the air vent, up there. Oh yeah, that could get us into the room below it. Not us, you. What? I, I can't fit in there. 
Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can I handle it? All right. Let's see what you got then. Smile, all right? <laughs> Don't lose it. this out. Okay, I'm in. It's locked from this side, too. And look around. Is there a key nearby? <sighs> Coding. Lots of painkillers. Anything? Didn't see any journals. All right, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. Wow. Uh, journals galore. Well, let's see what we find.
No. something <gasps> This is it Your hands. Slowly. Hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. What is he holding? Hey, hey, hey. You keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. So what now? Now. We wait uh, for the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady. It was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. Hm. And at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it, he had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal it was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's boys. Uh. Hi. My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, you still might, so, uh, do you mind? <sighs> you knew her mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed. I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So... Mom was like your translator? Your mother... was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness and... I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sick Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what he 
history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. <laughs> Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Uh, yeah, sure, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out, hmm? Yeah. Uh, here. Thank you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> All right, come on, Nathan. Let's go. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, holy shit. Hey. 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 Sam? Sam? Oh, Khalid, you all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. You can't just leave her here. There's nothing we can do for her, all right? We have to run. If the cops find us here, then this. Sam? Nathan! We gotta go, right now. The front gate looks clear. Front gate. Got it. Think so. Okay. Hey, Dave! You all right? You there! Don't move! Run for it! This way! We can lose him! Stop the movie! We've got two first-way suspects on foot! One of those is out! Freeze, goddammit! Down on the ground! Hands on your head! God damn it! Pack this way! Go, go, go! Uh, 
I'd say we're clear. But we catch our breath for a second. Some night, huh? Some night. That old lady. Hey. Hey, you listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she... She was, um... Sick. I mean, it's okay to feel bad. But there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. You can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Well, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan? Back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight, I didn't know what that meant. But this... Mom's unfinished work. This is our chance to restart our lives. With brand new identities. What are you talking about? I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name... Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise, you and me together, we're gonna go far. So what do you say? Nathan Drake? And everything changed after that. You know, we became explorers, adventurers, mostly thieves. Ow. Okay, just hold still. You know, for a while it felt like you know, if we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. And you know, after I lost him, I, or after I thought I lost him. I, <clears throat> you didn't want to bring him back up again. Something like that. Well, that's it. Now you know everything. With you, I doubt that that's everything. But... It's a lot. I'd love to know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did. I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. It would have been a royal pain getting you out of here. How did you, uh, find me anyway? Oh, you know, easy. Just follow the sound of gunfire. <laughs> no, I mean, how did you get here? Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive, par for the course. Now we just need to rescue the other Drake. What do you mean? I'll let Nate tell you. Hey, pal. Glad you could join us. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. So what happened to Sam? Rafe's got him. Shit. You know where they are? Uh, yeah, they're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're gonna need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey, what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. 
But Alcazar? No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Wait, you mean the dip, the... The escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. What an asshole, right? Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you, okay? Yeah, I can't wait. But you two be safe down there. You know us. JJ. Thanks. Sure? No, I mean... Thanks for saving me. Again. I almost didn't this time. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. So, we're headed to the northern side of the island? Yeah, New Devon. It's home to the founders of Libertalia. And that's where Rafe is taking your brother. The treasure's probably there. Just need to save Sam before they find it. Up there. I borrowed it from your shoreline friends. You slid all the way down from there? Yeah, it was the quickest way to get down to you. Now we just gotta figure out another way back up. Yeah. So, have you been here long? On the island? A few hours now. Did you see the colony? I did. From the air. Pretty incredible, right? I didn't get the full tour. I was a little preoccupied with finding you. Right. an elevator? Sure looks like it. I swear, Avery recruited the best engineers of his time. He must have used it to move supplies upriver. Yeah, that's a fair bet. So, did uh, Sully fill you in on the deal with this place? Yep. Henry Avery, 400 million, 12 founders, hundreds of colonists. Something like that. There's your car. Just need to get up there. Well, what do you think? Which way? Well, let's take a look. Too high. Let's find another way up. Here we go. I 
can boost you up there. Great. Well, uh. Do you think there's another way up? Uh... Hey, I see a path up here. There's a way through over there. See if you can find something I can use. Yep. Oh. Hey, nice jump. Not bad, right? Way to go, Nate. Piss a girl like that off. Idiot. Come on, I'll meet you around. <laughs> like a dead end. Well, maybe the elevator still works. I doubt it. 300 years old. It's been exposed to the weather, and who knows if it Got ever it. Oh, look. It works. Going up? I'll just uh, meet you at the top, I guess.
Now then, which way's the car? It'll be easier to spot from higher ground. Right. Good idea. some exercise at least, right? Look, shoreline. They found your car. Technically, it's their car. So, let's get it back. Pretty sure we lost them. So here's my question. Why does Rafe Adler want Avery's treasure? It's not like he needs the money. What's the glory? Doesn't want to be known as a guy who only got rich because of his inheritance. Walking away isn't an option for him. Well, Rafe is a good match for Shoreline. He needs their muscle and they need his money. They do? They seem pretty well stopped. Shoreline got involved in a couple of civil wars that didn't turn out for them. Nadine inherited her father's mess. She's probably hoping that this will put her back on the map. <sighs> hey, easy! Wow, check out that elevator. It's massive. Bet you could write a killer article about all this. <laughs> I could. I doubt anybody would believe it. Oh, you could take pictures, too. I do wish I did that. So, why do you think Sam didn't come straight to you after Rafe got him out of prison? Because he wanted to gather every clue that Rafe had on Avery before bailing on. Plus, he needed time to come up with that crazy outcome story. <sighs> I just looked it up. That is one crazy contraption. It looks big enough to fit the car. Well, here's hoping this one works as well. Find out. Well, that didn't do anything. Stop the water wheel. Doesn't really help us, though. All right, let's try 
try something else. an idea. Maybe we can use the winch on the balcony down there. Worth a shot. Go. Stand clear. I got it. Okay. Hey, Nate. Move out of the way. How's that? Looks like I can get up there now. Thank you. Yet. I'm gonna climb higher. Need an elevator just to fix the elevator. I'm gonna detach the winch now. Okay! I'll bring the car to the elevator. Good call. Here we go. to
what I can do. You sure? You seem to be doing fine. After all that, I need a break. Heard it. So I was thinking, all this engineering and architecture, it doesn't come cheap. You think there's even any treasure left? We are wondering that ourselves. There's nothing. Control again. We're getting there. You didn't happen to bring us some spare clothes, did you? I did. Great. They're on the plane. Not great. That damn. We can drive through the sluice gate. go. Hey, Nate. It's no good. It's blocked. Okay. I'll try the other one. <laughs> oh. Seen that coming. Door number two. Looks like this one's clear. 
Nice work. <laughs> We're good. Maybe we could get up that way. Good call. Watch this. Hang on! Uh, we did it! You sound surprised. Maybe a little. That elevator's working. Uh, so far, we're two for two. Yeah, which means we're due for some disaster. When the water wheel's working, that bodes well. Come on, Nate. We should get to your brother. Yeah. All right, let's get the car onto the elevator. Hand with this? Oh, crap. I'll hold it. Just get the car. There's nothing. Three for three. Gotta love that pirate engineering. Wow. It's like a postcard. Yeah, Libertalia. Come for the beautiful views, stay for the life or death gunfights. <laughs> mm. So what made you change your mind? Huh? You said you almost didn't come back. Well, I couldn't leave when you were clearly in over your head. And you know, there's that whole marriage vow thing. For better or worse. Yeah. For better or worse. He 
here. <sighs> Give me a hand with this. You know, even if you think that you're protecting me, we don't have a right to shut me out. No matter what it is, you're supposed to come to me so that we can work through it together as a team. I know that. Really, I do. It's just... I... 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 You know, I... we should stay focused. There'll be time for this later. Next stop, New Devon. Sully. Where are you? Still in the air. Saw a bunch of shoreline vehicles heading north. I guess we'll see them soon. You two doing okay so far? We hit a few hitches, but so far so good. All right, good. Keep in touch, will you? I'm not the no news is good news type. We'll try. Over and out. Okay, should be on the other side of the bridge. Hang on tight. trying to protect you. It's just, I, I made a promise that I was done with this life. We both did. Yeah, but I broke it. I didn't tell you because I was afraid. Afraid of what? Of losing you. I guess I was, uh, protecting myself. You know? We have a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. Just keep moving. Yeah. This way.
At least we're on the right side of the river now. Yeah. That would have been bad. Call. Now, how do we get up there? You're lonesome. Well, rest in peace, my pirate friend. <sighs> shoved against the walls. They were already dead when they were brought here. This is a mass grave, Nate. Hello? Who is this? Now look at the sign. Traitor. It's one of the rebels. That's a bad way to die. Here's another one. Sorry, buddy. No disrespect. More gibbets. That's one way to quash a rebellion. I have to wonder if this was always the plan. What, to slaughter all the colonists? No, to lure them here in hopes of finding a utopia, only to rob them of everything that they have. Well, we are dealing with a bunch of pirates. Well, that is pretty diabolical, even for pirates. Don't look steady. They're not. Be careful. Huh? <clears throat> 
Welcome to Avery's neighborhood. It's a nice place. <laughs> if you don't mind some structural problems and water damage. Yeah, clearly some drainage issues. <laughs> a real fixer-upper opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Looks like somebody blew that dam and then flooded the whole place. You know, I forgot. Pretty good at this. All right, so which one of these do you think is Avery's? Uh, my money's on that one. The one that's still intact. Ah. Oh. You're not so bad at this either. Yeah, well, you know, I had a little practice. I read a few books. Shit, no. shit. What? What? The front door. Sam. He's still alive. And yeah, for now. Come on. All right, keep your eyes open for shoreline types. Yep. There goes nothing. Whoops! You all right? Through here, watch your head.
Jesus. What? I think that's it. You okay? Yeah. Let's push on. Might be a way through this cave. Yeah, it's worth a look. Refreshing. Look, we can climb up there. Yeah, but it's too high, even for a boost. Then let's look around. Here we go. After you. Oh, how sweet. You want me to be your decoy? No. I was being gentlemanly there. <laughs> Just busting your chops. Yeah, well, the chops are plenty busted already. Thank you. Okay? Yeah. I'm fine. You? Well, wet again. Tired, bruised. A little hungry. I could eat. Other than that, fine. <laughs> yeah. Whew, okay, come on. Let's keep going. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on. Let's try cutting through this house. Yeah. I'm right behind you. Hey, check it out. These cannons look like they were retrofitted. Yeah, improvised defenses. Guess they didn't expect they'd be fighting each other. Guess not. Ooh, nice water feature. Time for another swim, I guess. Hey, Nate. Over there. That looks like an exit. Whoa, whoa! Stronger than it looks. <laughs> 